We're Craig and Kirsty, a British couple who got married on a beach in 2018. And instead of a honeymoon, we decided to travel the world together. And so we created Time Not Travellers. On March the 1st, 2020, we left our home and jobs behind us as we boarded a one-way flight. A few short weeks later, the global pandemic brought the whole world to a stop and all our travels were cancelled. Undeterred, we stayed put and continued our adventure exploring the country we were in, Estonia. Between us, we have visited 51 countries and we'd love you to join us as we continue our travels and explore the world. So we've just checked out of our accommodation and uh, loaded up the car. We joke that this car is so low to the ground that it literally hits every stone and pebble in the road. What is it doing? <laughs> what just happened to it? The pneumatics have just jacked right up. It's got more clearance than most 4x4s on the road. We've got a monster truck now. It's just turned into a monster truck. <laughs> what is this? We've had it for like three weeks and it's not done this Trying so far. Trying to get it to not hit curves has been this a job. This is mental. <laughs> Go down low so that you can see. It's a crazy car. It's got a mind of its own. Yeah. And now we're checked out of accommodation and we're going to hit the road in our monster truck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Bye Off bye. to our next destination. See you later, Pani. <laughs> We're just five minutes up the road from Pani, but where we're going today, we're going to need some food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've just made a stop off at this co op. Time to get some supplies. That's perfect. Thank you very much, Tanan. From the deli counter, just got myself potatoes, got some cheese. It's like a dauphin noir. And Kirsty got cracker breads and some, I think it's tomato hummus. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's been a journey trying to find all the constituents for your you, lunch. Yeah, you can't just buy a sandwich or a salad here. It seems to not be a thing. We used no. to go in a place where you can just walk in and grab any kind of sandwich, or salad, put it together. Here, you kind of got to build your own. <laughs> <laughs> Successful lunch pit stop. Time to hit the road. We've arrived at Suma National Park and we've turned up to a place um, hoping that we can hire kayaks or canoes. Just phone the guy and he said he's got availability at four o'clock. Yeah. So we're in luck because today <laughs> it sounds extremely busy. Yeah. It sounds like we've picked the one day of the summer that's yeah. the way crazy it's busy. Out, <laughs> we tried to book in advance but we couldn't get through so we had no choice but to turn up and hope. And there was a few different places on Google so we checked it out but the weather's absolutely spectacular today so everyone's doing the same thing and yep. it's Saturday. So we're going to wander around the national park, give a little hike and then later Go and on, see the visitor centre yep. as well. And then later on we're going to hop in a canoe together and see how that goes. This place that we've just turned up to has all these cabins along here. It's got a hammock and then there's a hot tub down by the river and a sauna over there as well. We've just seen the river. This is the Panu River and it just looks gorgeous. Yeah, stunning. We've arrived at Suma National Park Visitor Centre and we're hoping to have some light shed on where to go and what to do. Yeah, <laughs> trying to figure this all out is not easy. It's tricky. We've entered the park probably about 20 kilometres ago and there's a few places that you can stop off and hike by the looks of it. But we've just arrived, there's a map in front of us and it looks like the visitor centre is open, which makes sense because it's a Saturday, even though <laughs> Google Maps said it was closed. We're going to go and find out and hopefully find some beautiful areas to go and walk around. Yeah, let's go explore this place. <laughs> A beaver trail. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mostly forest and nice boardwalk. Or if you drive four kilometers per new direction, there is Ingatsi. Okay. This part is for the tourist after that this bog. There was a place parking on the left hand side. Yes, this is it, like... it was Risa. In the bog pool you can swim yeah. there if you want. Oh swim. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. 
So we've just been into the tourist information center. The lady was super, super helpful, which is a massive relief to us because we need to figure out things quickly. <laughs> yeah. We've been so busy. So she's very kindly given us this fantastic map. We are here. This is the tourist information center and there's a two kilometer beaver trail here, which we're going to walk along. And then we're going to need to go back up this road and right next to the main road, there's like a boarded bog hike, which we're going to go along. And then later we'll get back for our canoes. Yeah. And she's also given us more detailed maps yeah. for each of those of hike trails. areas. We're going to try and pick like one or two of them and see how we go. It's pretty hot today, so it might only be the one. Yeah, <laughs> but for now we're going to have some lunch. <laughs> We just had a lovely lunch stop in the sun and now we're heading for the beaver trail. We've got our maps. Copra Rada. Beaver trail. <laughs> Here we come. Oh, and there's a statue of a beaver. Facilities here as well. Got a compostable toilet before you start the trail and when you end the trail. And there's some tap water over there. So well set up. The visitor center is also a, an RMK site, which is a place that you can pitch up with your tent for free. I think you can stay here with caravans as well. And it did look like they also had rooms in the visitor center as well, because there was a kitchen with facilities. I didn't have any cutlery with me uh, for my lunch. So the lady said I could use a fork, which came in extremely handy. And obviously you're never guaranteed, but hopefully we'll see some beavers. Is that? It's huge. Oh wow, good spot. It's because the leaf moved. We're trying to be as quiet as possible and hope that we'll see something. There's lots of mushrooms. <laughs> we did see a frog. Kirsty's eagle eyes. This is the place to see beavers. Lots of still water, plenty of deadfall, plenty of long grass for them to hide in. This is just a beaver's dream. This is what we've come to see. We did just hear a little splash. Might have been a fish. That dragonfly is huge. It's so cool that they have this boardwalk going all the way through so that as you're walking around, you're not disturbing the natural flora and fauna. Yeah, reducing footfall. This yeah. takes you to right next to the river. Another lovely little seating area. I mean, look at all that wood for the beavers. <laughs> we say for the beavers, I think they already built that. <laughs> <laughs> That's beavers work you're looking at. <laughs> Little frog, they're so cute. Squirrel through there. Oh, he was so quick. <laughs> Cheeky. It's nice. It's just nice and refreshing. I'm going to have some. I'm going to do this on my melting face. <laughs> yeah. There's still little froggies out here. I wish we had known about this place. We've got a tent with us and there's a lovely area there for camping. The tent would just be here. Yeah. Just wake up and walk through We could camp here. Might be one or two mosquitoes, but... Oh, the beaver trail was lovely. Lovely little two kilometer walk. We didn't see any beavers, but it was a fantastic habitat for beavers. We saw a red squirrel and lots of little frogs. And a giant toad that I found. And a giant toad. 
And lots of mosquitoes again. Loads of mosquitoes, <laughs> yeah. which you don't see, yeah. they just get you. <laughs> yeah, and dragonflies. All right, on to the next place, we're gonna go and do a bog walk. And we have arrived at Risa for the bog walk. Can't wait for this, it looks so cool, Let's so unique. Boggy. We've been told you can even jump in and swim in the bog. Looking forward to this. Number one. So we are at the start of this one. We're gonna go all the way around here. Uh, Risa Uparada. Number one, up here, Risa. So we've just come from the information center here where we did the beaver trail. We've come five, 10 minutes up this road to Risa. And we've got our little map here with more detail on it. Butterfly in your face. <laughs> goes off over there if you want to, if not we just carry on with the walk. There's another compostable toilet over there. Oh, yeah. Wherever we go in the world I always spot the tiniest lizards and Craig adores lizards and for some weird reason I've got an eye for them and I always find them. She does, she sees lizards everywhere and I, I just love them, I think they're brilliant. They're so cool. This little guy's so tiny. Oh yeah. He's lost his tail recently and it's grown back. This is Queen. Awesome. <laughs> They're like doing a dance. I mean, this trail is unbelievable. We've walked about 10 meters probably, already seen two or three lizards, beautiful butterflies, massive crickets. And I just love the landscape of this trail. It's like a heathy sort of boggy land with pine trees growing out. It's quite sparse and you can just hear the sounds of the crickets around you. It's so peaceful. There's barely anyone else here in my element. There's all these different signs around as you go around the trail. This one's bog bilberry, which sounds funny. <laughs> and over here you've got cowberry, which we saw on the last trail as well. And then this way to the river, apparently. <laughs> Never good when I'm directing her. <laughs> Getting attacked by the bugs. When did our life become a Lord of the Rings movie? <laughs> Seriously. These landscapes do feel like it. Yeah. That and you with your acting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and here is the Navesti Yogi, Navesti River. It was awesome! <laughs> he was just trying to get out of my way, but he kept going the same way we were. <laughs> yeah. We were like, sorry buddy, we need to go this way. We can't get past. He just wanted to walk along with us for a while. Yeah. Mm. And in the end, he just kind of tucked in.
we've just come across to this bog and a couple of the people that we were just talking to, he's just been for a swim in here. And he said it's really actually quite nice and warm. So we are gonna go for a plunge in here. Absolutely beautiful. And we got it all to ourselves. <sighs> Time for our first bog swim. <laughs> Let's see how this turns out. <laughs> yeah, three, two, one. <laughs> That's so weird when you jump in, it yeah. just lights out. It's completely dark. Yeah. It's quite strange as it's not very buoyant. It's so clean, you can see it. Yeah, you have to work hard to stay up. It's kind of yellowy. Bogs like the one we swim in are created over hundreds or thousands of years. They form when plants decay in a lake and fill it. Spending a summer's day out in nature, exploring and swimming in these waters allowed us to really embrace Estonian summertime and see how the locals spend their summer days enjoying this unique and beautiful landscape. This is literally Craig's new Estonian accessory. He has been on Craig's finger for a long, long time. It's just... <laughs> I've, I've been packing away. We've been saying goodbye and taking selfies and he's saying just goodbye. stayed there the whole time. I mean, is he okay? <laughs> 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 Actually a little accessory. He's just coming for a free ride, I think. Yeah, so into what he's got on <laughs> he my... He loves it. <laughs> oh, goodbye, buddy. Be free. Stay safe. Do you want to come back? He's kind of, is he in two miles? No, he's going. There are five large swamps in Soma National Park. Traditional cultivation of land has turned the banks of the meandering river into diverse flood meadows. It is due to these untouched areas that Soma is part of the network of European wilderness. During early spring, melted snow floods all the lower forests, creating a new playground for visitors to canoe through flooded forests and meadows. And this is the viewing platform, beautifully crafted.
Cool, isn't it? Lovely view from up here. We love Suma! <laughs> Kirsty's done it again, the lizard whisperer. She's just spotted the tiniest little lizard. I mean, he's black, so he must be cooking. But he's also like shimmery skinned. Very cool, love a lizard. <laughs> So this is the Estonian butterfly game. They like to just do this everywhere I walk and keeps landing. He could go anywhere but he just keeps <laughs> and if I stop he stops. Look, you see? He's over there. If I stop, you wait, he'll stop, he'll wait for me. See? He'll just he just waited for me. And then I go again. Then I go again. <laughs> as if the butterflies like to play chicken with, the, <laughs> with humans. Scoring points with their friends. It's the most intrigued nature around here. We're coming towards the end of the trail and we are going to go back to the car and then go canoeing. It's been a great day. Cause, oh, <laughs> so much nature. <laughs> Little lizard just nearly darting around. So yeah, everyone who's been saying we need to leave the city and go and head out into nature and go on some bog trails and, and hiking. We've been doing that all day today, and you're right, it is fantastic. We've had the best time. And we spectacular weather. Yeah, we did. We had really good, lucky weather today. I'm trying to talk to the camera and not step on this butterfly. <laughs> it's crazy butterfly games. <laughs> Still doing it. But yeah, we, we love Suma. Suma is a great national park. We're gonna go to some more before we head back. Got lots more to see and do. If you come to Estonia and you're in the area of Suma National Park, make sure you come and definitely take a walk around Risabog. It's just beautifully preserved. It's such a unique area to walk around and you can just see how much the locals respect their environment. We just completed the five kilometre hike around Risa Bog and it was awesome. And we jumped in it. <laughs> we finally jumped in a bog. Back to the car and now we're off canoeing. here, ready to go canoeing. It's 10 euros per person for one hour and we're going to just go along the river for a bit, see what we can see, probably jump in and cool off because even though it's now seven o'clock in the evening, it is still scorchy. it's still 26 degrees. And so apparently there's a few different options. We are here at Ritsu and we're going to take it for an hour up the river yeah, and then and back down. along yeah, with the yeah. flow. Or well, the go. other options okay. are you can get driven from Ritsu uh, to Risa, uh, where we've just been, Miyakos or oh, Karakos, the and then you can get driven here with the boat, the canoes or the kayaks, and then you can yeah, yeah. come mm -hmm. all the way back yeah. to Ritsu yes. to end the yes. day. This one looks like a good one. This one? Yeah. Life jacket. Yeah. There we go. My man's. This one for me. Okay, perfect. Ready to launch. Thank you. We've got our paddles, we've got our canoe, and we are ready to head upstream. So clear. And this is what you call a great nature day. <laughs> this has been good. Rowing on the river. Just look at the reflection of that cloud in front of Kirsty on the water. It's beautiful. There we got the sun behind us. Yeah, we're definitely winning today. <laughs> <laughs>
He just took off. It's totally worth coming over here to find him. Hey. Just saw a kingfisher. Hopefully you saw it on the GoPro as well. And he was right here in this tree. Really beautiful time to be on the river. We've got it to ourselves. We've got the canoe for about half an hour, so we're half an hour in. And we're gonna head back towards the sun as it sets. Check this out. Evening haze. Yeah. Just Are you ready through the rapids? Yeah. <laughs> through the rapids, and then we've got to beach ourselves on the left hand side. When I say rapids, they're not really too bad. Check this out. Pretty, pretty calm. Gonna say it's rapids though. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, white water everywhere. Whoa. And my stuff is now wet. Paddling on the left hand side. And we're through. Phew, that was a close one. Oh, yeah. Left hand down. Okay. Yeah. Go on, jump. Jump! <laughs> jump, jump! Nice! We nailed getting out of the kayak. Yeah. That was that was a great technique. I got this. Good job, wifey. Left-handed, I got That's this. That's great. My hands are filled. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Better. Better. Kayaking in Suma National Park. That was fun. Awesome. What a fantastic day. Lovely way to end it. Sun's going down and now we've got to jump in the car and we head to our next destination. Got a couple hours of driving to do. Yeah, so we've got a bit of a journey and going to get food on route as well. Let's jump in the car. We've had an awesome day today, having left Parnu this morning and checking out of our accommodation. We headed over to Suma National Park and we finally went on a hike around some bogs. So we've had a great day out in nature today and now we are in the car and we're heading on a one hour and 45 minute journey over to Tartu. So yeah, we'll see you there. Join us next time as we head over to Valga, a town that spans two countries, Estonia and Latvia. We also check out San Gaste Castle and finish the day in Ertepa. If you can't wait that long, head over to our Instagram at Tidenot Travellers for daily updates on what we're currently up to and what's coming up in our future videos. <clears throat> oh, I'm upside down. Um, warm? Yeah, he said it was warm. Did he? Yeah, he said it was really warm. I took the camera off me now, I need to get changed. <laughs> <laughs> you go down. That's not warm. <laughs> go on. You lied. Got to do this. Go on then. Go on. That's to you. Ready? It's fresh, it's not warm. I know, I've been in. <laughs> <sighs> it's cold. <laughs> it's nice. We are here at Ritsu. And Ritual, you can... Yeah. Ritual, it's this place. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 But it, it, but it... There's some different options. So we're renting the canoe from Ritsu and we're going to take it for an hour up the river yeah. and then and, back uh, along yeah, with the yeah. flow. Yeah, but this is a three hours, four hours, five hours trip if you want, but yeah, yeah that's it, longer. We want to come back for that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what just happened? <laughs> ourselves a couple of canoes and then after we walked around <laughs> just do it again